I'm Amy Gomez and here's what's happening this morning. A large crowd gathered in Elk Grove last night outside the home of a man killed in a hit and run just over a week ago. 85 year old Edward Villasenor was in front of his home on Waterman Street when he was hit by an SUV. The driver kept going and still has not been found. And uh, lots of road closures to tell you about this weekend in Sacramento. Several parts of I-5 will be closed for various projects, including the off-ramp to Arena Boulevard and partial closure on Garden Highway in Stanislaw County. State Route 132 between Claus Road and Santa Fe Avenue will be closed beginning tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. until Friday at 5 p.m. We have all the information you need to know on our website, abc10.com. Now for check of the weather, here's meteorologist Carly Gomez. Good morning, Carly. Good morning, and also don't forget on I-5, uh, just near the pocket, there's also gonna be a two hour closure north and southbound lanes, both ways for two hours, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., so be ready for that or find some alternate routes. All right, let's take a look at some weather conditions today. Dry and mild, record temperatures are possible for the weekend, right around the mid 70s, and then we'll see breezy and uh, midweek with fire danger at moderate now possibility for rain and snow in the forecast for the foothills and the Sierra. Now this morning we are looking at very foggy conditions for the valley around Sacramento and in the Bay Area, very dense fog. So that fog will sit around through the morning hours, even until mid morning before we start to see things clear up. But everyone wants to know when can we see the rain? Let's take a look at Tuesday because right around 1 a.m. We'll see the first wave coming in, but that's primarily for the Pacific Northwest and areas into Northern California along the coast. Now we will start to see just a bit of cloud coverage starting to roll in as well, but take a look at the second wave coming in here. This is where we start to see just a bit of that rain moving in by 930 PM for the foothills in areas possibly down all the way to Modesto. And then finally seeing a bit of snowfall starting to build in the Sierra. Now it starts to grow as we move into Wednesday by Wednesday afternoon. You can see how much snow accumulates in the white shade. The purple pink shade is a mixture of snowfall there and rain. So we have a little bit of that slushiness going on, but it really does begin to expand for a lot of Nevada and Wyoming as we start to move into the uh, uh, midweek there. All right, let's move into next Tuesday, 7 a.m. So we are looking at cloud coverage rolling in as well as some rainfall. And that rainfall will also begin to shift in by next Tuesday into Wednesday. So we want to keep our eye on that massive system there as temperatures also begin to drop mid 70s for the next couple days. Here's the upper 60s to mid 60s. And then we'll see a low 70 there by next Sunday.